guys, welcome back. Hope you are doing good. And we are back with another Smart India Hackathon video after one long year. So I hope you had a wonderful Smart India Hackathon 2024. And I am very proud and happy to see all your reviews, messages, LinkedIn tags, and everything. Apart from that, our dedicated one-on-one -on -one mentorship things and. Especially no one in India did a um, dedicated mentorship for Smart India Hackathon. It was an experimental try, but we had 142 sessions out of which we are rated at 4.98. I think one session I was late. That was my fault. So I can't do anything about that. So you can check the reviews of our last year sessions and we have a lot planned for this year's session. I will tell in the end of the video. So let's get into this video. And apart from this, for people who don't know me, I was the winner of Smart India Hackathon 2022. And for Smart India Hackathon 2023, as well as 24, I went as an evaluator back to back. So I saw all of your PPTs and I know what mistakes you have done. So both from a participant perspective and from a judge perspective, what's the expectations and what's the requirements? I'm clear with it and I have certain points to say which I'll be saying after once we talk about the roadmap. For everyone who is watching this video for the first time, let me explain what is Smart India Hackathon. Smart India Hackathon is termed as the world's biggest open innovation model. Wait, what, what open innovation model? Let me explain. Say uh, the government of India, we have different industries. So each industry will be having dedicated problems which needs innovative solution. So the government of India has conducted the Smart India Hackathon for the past eight to nine years. And this 2025 edition is more focused on smart education, disaster management, and a lot more problems of the country. So each organization will be listing their respective problem statements. And you being a student, you will be selecting one of a problem statement and be providing an innovative solution for this. And if your solution makes sense and that could impact you will end up as the winner of Smart India Hackathon for that problem statement for which you will be getting a dedicated cash price which may be 1 lakh or 75,000 or 50,000. It depends on the weightage of the problem statement. So you being a winner means that you have provided value to the country by giving a solution to the problem. So this is what the whole motive of Smart India Hackathon is. Apart from this, we have a peculiar category called as open innovation model. So it may be for smart education, they have given an open innovation model. That means you can bring your own idea. You don't need to take a problem statement which the government has listed, but you can choose your own problem statement which you think actually would make sense and give a solution. And if that also makes sense, you will end up winning in the open innovation model. That's all about Smart India Hackathon. So first, eligibility criteria. Who can participate in Smart India Hackathon? You being a college student, you may be an engineering student, a science student or art student, whoever you are, you can partake in Smart India Hackathon. There's no typical restrictions. So first keep in mind, for you to participate in Smart India Hackathon, your college has to be registered in the portal. So currently, SPOC registration. So SPOC is the person who will be representing uh, your college in the Smart India Hackathon. So that person will be responsible for every incomings and outgoings with respect to this hackathon. So make sure to check if your college has been registered or not, because only if your SPOC is registered, you can partake. Okay, so keep that in mind. Go on, check with your college and get it registered. So going on with the roadmap, the problem statements which I said earlier will be listed out very early maybe once this video comes live it may take maybe a week or within a week the problem statements will be live so spend your time in choosing the wisest problem statement that would make sense and keep in mind while you select your problem statement don't just see that okay this looks like a complex problem will i solve it apart from that once you form a team forming a team is very crucial i have said in my earlier playlist as well so choose a team based on their interest their capability and the understanding bond which you have between each other always make sure the work you do shouldn't impact your friendship if it does it will act as a downfall for you which happened for me in the initial stages keep it in mind work is different friendship is different focus on the work okay so once you form a good team that itself means the hackathon is half one because this is about a journey that's for six months. As if you know the roadmap, the finals will be in December and it's starting in August. So typically for six months, you'll be working together. So keep it in mind, having a good team is crucial. So okay, uh, going to the problem statement thing, select a problem statement based on your team skills because in the end, you have to complete the product build in the finals. I knew a lot of teams who went into the finals after my mentorship, but they couldn't build their product in the end and that's the reason which they ended up failing so keep in mind select the problem statement and give a solution which you can build and complete and with all the AI tools out there now it's not going to be a impossible deal 
So keep that in mind while selecting your problem statement. So once you're ready with the problem statement, the next important phase is the internal hackathon phase. So this internal hackathon phase will be starting hopefully once the problem statement is live, any college can start the internal hackathon and it will go up to September end. So what's this internal hackathon? This internal hackathon is something which your college has to conduct. And once they conduct, say from your college, 100 teams are applying for Smart India Hackathon. For that, your college has to conduct an internal hackathon inside the college and shortlist the best 50 teams. So what category is this 50 teams? 45 teams will be going as the direct shortlist and five teams will be going as waitlist. What does this waitlist mean? If suppose from the 45 teams, some team is unavailable, one team from this waitlist will be going up. So I hope you understand the concept between here. So every college must have an internal hackathon. It doesn't matter if your college only has 20 teams, but they have to submit the details that they have conducted an internal hackathon, which is mandatory. So make sure to focus on the internal hackathon and what you have to do for the internal hackathon. Try to get a base prototype, not a full-fledged product, but you will have an idea, right? Say our product was OTP alternative. We built a OTP alternative kind of a system. In more detail is there in my previous video, you can go and check that. It's basically an alternative authentication system. So we built a minimum viable product, maybe like a simulation kind of thing. This is how it's going to work. And we made it as a presentation. While most of the other teams in my college, they just did a presentation. So see what you can do unique to stand out. Okay, so there are some colleges where uh, around 1000 teams are partaking from that college itself. That's where the internal hackathon itself becomes like a huge hackathon. Colleges like SRM, VIT, they have immense number of students. So uh, keep that in mind. Okay, and importantly, a team should have six members, which I forgot to say in the early, earlier phase, and one, at least one team member should be a girl. In my case, we had four boys and two girls when we won in Smart India Hackathon 2022, just for the team uh, bonding and understanding level or the collaboration between team, I felt that was a perfect uh, connection, but you can choose which could be wise for you. So once the college has conducted the internal hackathon, it's the SPOC's responsibility to submit each of these 50 shortlisted teams ideas in the SIH portal. So this has to be done typically by the end of September. So that's where the whole internal hackathon phase takes place starting from August to the end of September. And this phase is something where you will get a lot of learnings. Most teams will get eliminated. It doesn't matter about getting eliminated. It's about taking your first step to learn. Okay. So keep it in mind. Don't have that fear that uh, this is something big, I cannot participate, nothing. See, when I participated in my first hackathon, I went to Jaipur, which is basically a national hackathon where around 10,000 teams were there. And uh, I went it like a trip with my college seniors. And that first hackathon ended up bringing me here with currently around 75 plus hackathons all over the globe. I've gone as judge and mentor, seven plus hackathons during my college time, I've won. And this is all something that has been a track record, but something which I've not said in most of my videos, my first three hackathons I lost. And those three defeats taught me more than anything. That's what made me unstoppable. So it's not about uh, having the fear of losing, it's about embracing it and seeing what you could do better. So why I am uh, saying this much is, hackathon is something that's not just an event that you're going or a college event. It's something that will teach you a lot, starting from team management, your networking skills, your coding skills, and every single thing under that pressure situation. Now, you will boil up and grow to something different, okay? So make sure to apply for it, no matter what, participate in the internal hackathon. And uh, if you go for the next step, absolutely fine we'll talk more about it in the next video about the final phase about internal hackathon this video is more more all going to be about the end roadmap in the next video we'll be talking about the ppt format and a lot more stuff so let me go with the next stage of the timeline so by september end once your submission is done the idea evaluation process will be taking hopefully in the whole of october and by mid november you'll be getting the results how the results work for each problem statement they'll be shortlisting five teams as finalists but that's not mandatory. You know, technically in SH 2022, when we won, we had around 700 plus problem statements and around 250 problem statements had zero finalists. What does it mean? It's not that if you submit an idea, you will definitely have five finalists. If the evaluation panel feels that this idea doesn't make sense, they have the power to shortlist zero teams. Okay, so keep that in mind. So once the results have come in December, you will be having the finals.
so we'll be having multiple videos talking about that in the next two three months it's going to be completely us so it's going to be a replica of our si 2023 playlist but this time it's going to be upgraded something which i feel that you all of you participants have an upper hand is artificial intelligence with different AI tools coming up, you can actually bring your ideas to life. It's not that you have to be a ground level scratch coder to build a complete product. You have to have the basic knowledge, like if you have a team of six people, one guy being strong is more than enough for getting a product. But it's all about how you work as a team, starting from choosing your ideas, building your uh, product roadmap, how you are going to get the product, the modules, every single thing requires a lot of collaboration. But multiple AI tools, coming across everything so i will give you certain prompts in the description make sure to check it out it can help you in getting some kind of uh, add-on see in our time we didn't have anything we all we had to use for stack overflow and go to discard for getting doubts that was a different kind of uh, it's just three years back but it feels like some another generation now so you have a lot of upper hand make sure to go for it coming to the final point of the video which i told earlier about the one-on-one -on -one mentorship sessions we had awesome mentorship sessions last year around 142 sessions so we had a mentorship session especially for the idea ppt round for the people to submit or the internal hackathon we had multiple categories of uh, mentorship sessions this year too we are having the same but this time we are going to do on a large scale we are already going for around five to six colleges in the next one month only for smart india hackathon that's the impact which we have created and it's with all your support we have come this far so this year we are going to limit the count of mentorship sessions but why mentorship you may think why mentorship for people who doesn't have idea so we will be having videos that would be generic on what you can do but for more personalized inputs maybe more detailed talk about your problem statement what you can do your personal roadmap and certain stuffs which actually a uh, generic video wouldn't make sense that's what we're going to discuss in the mentorship starting from tips and tricks strategies in evaluation criteria or when i was an evaluator what all i felt could be better these are certain things which we'll be talking in detail in the one-on-one -on -one mentorship session so this year the mentorship price will be fixed at triple uh, nine but for everyone watching this video who feels that would make an impact being a team of six people so i'm bringing down the price for four double nine and this is going to be for the next 15 days but we'll be having barely two to three sessions per day with all the time limits we have and the large scale plan which we have for the mentorship make use of it i'm there to help you so in the next video we're going to talk in detail about the ppt breakdown and what you can do to prepare for the finale and hopefully we'll get this video by the start of september when the internal hackathon phase goes on to help you with the product building ppt structure and a lot more and uh, it's going to be hell of a ride i promise until then, signing off, Kamal Yaldas.